Let's go to Debbie in Croydon. Debbie, good evening. Um, evening, Daniel. Um, <clears throat> so my question is that I've worked for the local authority for 21 years and I've just been made redundant. We had a restructure in our service. My role was deleted. Um, they created two new roles, one two grades higher, one two grades lower. I wasn't successful in the interview for the uh, job two grades higher. They offered me the, the job two grades lower and I said, no, thank you. Would you reconsider redundancy? And they said, yes, they would. And they gave me a redundancy notice with three months notice for the 12th of December, which was fine. They then called me in and said that they didn't want me to work my notice and they were wanted to pay me in lieu and they wanted me to leave the following day. Um, I said that I wouldn't leave that day because on that was a Friday on the Monday, I was coming into the office for a grievance hearing against my head of service and I needed to come in for that hearing. They agreed to that and said that I should leave on the Monday afternoon. De- Debbie, I, I'm, I'm just conscious yep. this could turn into a very, very long story yep, no, if you don't no, get to the no, point. No, no, yeah, no. So, so uh, when I processed that, I said, no, I'm not happy with that. I, I'll leave less than three months, but not that quickly. So we came to a date of the 22nd of October. They then said that I had to take my holiday, which took it to the 6th of October. I asked them if they would pay my holiday instead of taking the time. They agreed that my last day of service was the six, is the 6th of October. When they accrued my holiday and the pro rata, they only did it up to the 22nd of October. So my question is, can I go back and ask them that they should accrue the holiday to the 12th of December for the three months notice that I would have had if they hadn't insisted that I'm leaving early? Yeah. OK, that's a perfectly reasonable question, Debbie, and I totally understand why you're asking it. But the answer is no. Okay. Uh, the, the answer is no, because you only accrue holiday up until your last day of employment. Uh, And if they've exercised a pay in lieu of notice clause in your contract, and it sounds like they have, Mm -hmm. then your last day of employment will be, whether it's the 6th or the 22nd, it'll be that October date. Um, And they they are entitled to do that. And I'm afraid you cannot accrue additional holiday in respect of dates beyond when your employment actually ends. 